Hello, friends and everybody else. Perez Hilton here. Modern day court jester, a clown, because isn't that how most people see me? It's all good. I only jokingly say that. And partly seriously, I am kind of like a court jester, but I am a human being. There is depth here. I um, feel, I make mistakes. And I talk about all of it on my podcast this week, shameless plug. Check out the Perez Hilton podcast with Chris Booker. I go into it on everything, all the controversy surrounding me and my son this week. Also, for those of you that were watching this on YouTube, I am going to talk about Tana Mojo, which I now know how to pronounce that name. I thought it was Manjo, but I'll save that till the end of the video because most everybody else has no idea who that girl is. All right. I want to start off by talking about Tiger Woods and this ex-girlfriend of his by the name of Kristen Smith. Tiger's ex-girlfriend claims that she had to sign a confidentiality agreement. She agreed to that. Apparently, Tiger Woods makes paramours sign NDAs. And so does Britney Spears, according to reports. I've never really thought about this issue that much. Is it a good idea or a bad idea? If you're the celebrity... I guess it's a good idea. I would never contemplate doing that, though. But I'm not like Britney Spears or Tiger Woods. I'm old school. I think any press is good press. No press is bad press. I don't care if people make up things about me or take me out of context, as has happened this week. So I guess I can't view things through my filter. And I'll go back to my initial thought. If you're the celebrity, it's good. And if you're not the celebrity, if you're the paramour, it's good too if you get money to sign the confidentiality agreement. <laughs> Although, I guess it all depends on the timing as well. Like, when do they ask you to sign this? Is it like straight out the gate before date one? How unromantic is that? If somebody gives you a confidentiality agreement straight out the gate before even date one, how would you feel? How would I feel? Well, I can't view it from my lens because... I'm not you in so many ways, <laughs> but I love you and I thank you for watching. In other couples news, gosh, I posted the video of Black China's fight at Magic Mountain, but I haven't spoken about the fallout since then. A lot of fallout. China's boyfriend allegedly attacked the young girl or teenager, young woman that allegedly touched Dream Kardashian that set off Black China. The boyfriend of Black China, also a teenager, is denying this. Mm -hmm. Also, after the fight, both parties were kicked out of Magic Mountain. Rob Kardashian now is said to be contemplating and probably going to take Black China to court, and he has video helping him out. He wants to get his child support payments lowered, and who knows what else will happen as a result of that. But there is some fallout for Black China. For some reason, a baby stroller company had a deal in the works with her to do a collaboration. That deal with Mommy, spelled M O M I I E has now ended. They say, we cannot excuse that sort of reaction and behavior, particularly in a family resort around children. Hey, mommy, hit me up. <coughs> I'm shameless. Also, I didn't get a chance to talk about Channing Tatum and Jenna Dewan. They have called it quits, and I have a bunch of updates on that. First and foremost, according to reports, Channing and Jenna have been separated for several months now. Apparently, they truly remain friendly. There were no third parties that we know of. And they're still even living together. Here's my take on the breakup between Channing Tatum and Jenna Dewan. They were together for a long time. So however long you've been with your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, multiply that by two or three. 
because Hollywood, Hollywood years are like dog years. And also they started dating when they were very young. They were very young. They dated a long time or, or together a long time. They had a successful run. So good on them. On to happier couples news. Chris Pine has, has himself a new girlfriend. He is dating actress Annabelle Wallace. Off the market, ladies. Also, Demi Lovato and Kehlani, the singer, may be an item. I'm not saying they are. I'm just saying possibly. We'll keep an eye out on that. Demi and Kehlani have both spoken out in the past about being with women. In other couples news, Adele officiated and planned the wedding for her very good friend, Alan Carr, a British talk show host. She posted a photo of herself dressed up in her officiating regalia. How cool is that? Adele is the ultimate fruit fly. Do we still use that expression? Is it okay to say fruit fly still? Uh, into some music news from one musician Adele to Halsey and Iggy Azalea. The two of them are beefing. Halsey has accused Iggy of copying her visuals for her new Savior music video, specifically the neon cross in it, which Halsey has been doing for a while now. And Halsey has credited to Baz Luhrmann. And she says that she has Baz's permission to use that and the inspiration. I'm gonna have to be Team Halsey on this one, just saying. On to some TV news. Kristen Cavallari has revealed that the reason the Hills reboot didn't happen is because Spencer and Heidi didn't want it to, which is not what Spencer and Heidi told me when I was on their podcast. They have since said she's lying, and I think I believe them. There's no way... Spencer and Heidi would pass on a Hills reboot. Hello. They need the, more, the money more than Kristen Cavallari. On to more TV news. According to reports, Roseanne and Sarah Gilbert are reportedly feuding on the set of the reboot. Also, Roseanne producers want you to forget all about the awful things that Roseanne has said and done. And I talk about this topic on my podcast this week as well. Can I separate Roseanne the person from Roseanne the show? Listen to my podcast to find out. Even more TV related news, Cynthia Nixon has given her first sit down interview since announcing her run for governor of New York and she chose to do it with Wendy Williams. That's an interesting choice. <laughs> she came across really well though and very smart. She may be an unqualified lesbian, but she's one with brains, and we could definitely use that. You can read all up on Cynthia's appearance on Wendy on my website. Also, Countess Luann says the reason she uh, was arrested for DUI a few months ago was because of untreated PTSD from a car crash she had in 1999. Is that a legal tactic or do we think she's telling the truth? You can read more up on that on my website. In more TV news, The Bachelor's Ari and his girlfriend, fiance Lauren, are trying to get a TV special. Isn't he extremely disliked? Would you watch the Ari and Lauren wedding special on ABC? Maybe there's like a twist or some extra drama. I don't know. Uh, even more TV news. Fox News is standing behind Laura Ingram after she mocked one of the Parkland shooting survivors. They say, quote, we cannot and will not allow voices to be censored by agenda-driven intimidation efforts. Blah, 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 blah. Also, Ted Nugent continues to spew just crap. If you care, check it out on my website. Former Melrose Place actress Jamie Lunar is being sued for allegedly drugging and sexually assaulting a teenager in the 90s. One of many teenagers that have accused her of this has filed a lawsuit against her. She is claiming extortion and saying that this is totally fabricated. 
On to some health news, Colin Farrell has checked into rehab, sending some positive vibes to him. Also, Austin Powers alum Vern Troyer, mini-me, has been put on an involuntary psychiatric hold after his friends became concerned for his well-being. Apparently, he was suicidal. All the positive vibes to him. Also, all the positive vibes to Ariadna Gutierrez. Ari... Mm. I'm trying to compose myself. Her dad passed away. Te mando todo mi amor y apoyo, Ari. Losing a parent is awful. And I'll end things talking about Tana Mojo. Tana Mojo posted an epic rant video on YouTube, which at first I dismissed because it was an hour and 15 minutes plus long. But then I decided to check it out because of curiosity. Tana is a huge YouTuber, has 3 million followers plus there and millions also on Instagram. And she made a whole long tirade about not getting a featured content creator at VidCon and also uh, being banned from the event. You know what? I have nothing negative to say about her. I found uh, myself watching most of it. Sure, she's very dramatic, but I am too. Yes, she repeated herself a ton and probably could have edited that down a bunch. I didn't need to hear a hundred times that her face was on the convention center facade. Um, and coming soon to YouTube, Tana Mo Mojo is going to go on a rant about why she doesn't have a Wikipedia page yet. I'm Perez Hilton. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Thank you for subscribing to this channel, following, uh, hit the like button, share, comment, and also follow me on Instagram, the Perez Hilton, and also Perez Hilton. Mwah! <laughs> Dark. <laughs>